All right, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, brothers, sisters, and sojourners of Israel. This is Dr. Ephraim. Uh, today's day is October 2nd, 2020. And obviously, if you're listening to the sound of my voice, you're blessed to see another Shabbat and all praises due to the Most High. Hi, everybody, Yeshim Yeshua HaMashiach. Uh, so I hope everyone is well and, 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 and in great spirits and great health and, and, and uh, your families are well. And it's always a, a, a blessing and a pleasure to be able to broadcast to you all um, uh, via these these lessons. Um, ultimately, I'd like to do uh, more a lot more lessons in between uh, when you know I have the time. Uh, I'm actually working on a couple of projects and hopefully I'll, I'll have another one for you. The, 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 Haplogroup, D, the Haplogroup D project is just it's just not ready. So uh, I'm not going to put it out there until um, I, I have all my ducks in a row because I'm not one to just kind of, you know, rush things and, you know, throw it out there. But either way, uh, my my history kind of speaks for itself on that. I try to be as thorough as I can, you know, especially having a, a, an academic background and being a college professor. You know, I try to be as um, as, as, as accurate and as thorough. You know, as I can, so that when you guys look at, look it up, you know, it, it, it could you can go right to what you need to go to. All right. So that being said, on this Shabbat today, I was led to do. Um, I, I had to address this thing called. Um, I, I've heard this a few times. I've heard people, you know, say this a few times, and I, and I just felt led to, to address it. Uh, the term spiritual Israelite. Um, let me let me just say for the record that there is no such thing as a spiritual Israelite. Okay. Um, that's about as fake and man-made as Christmas. And, you know, that's in, in no way trying to disrespect anyone or downplay anyone or, or discourage anyone in any way. Um, because the Most High does give non-Israelites um, a way in or a way to, to receive salvation. And that is by taking up the laws, statutes, and commandments of the children of Israel. Okay? Um, and, you know, that whole spiritual Israelite thing... That's more so that that more that more so falls under the Christian dogma, the, the Christian theology, right? Because um, the, your, 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 your New Testament Christians are the ones that have been trying to basically steal the salvation of the children of Israel, even going as far as to say that they've replaced the children of Israel. So if, so to all you Israelite brothers and sisters out there, if y'all don't understand what that is or what they're trying to do with that, then I don't I don't know what to tell you, um, you know. And one of the main reasons why a lot of Israelites reject outright the New Testament, because we already have our testament. We already have our laws. It's in the Torah. And again, uh, I'll say this. I'll say this a million times if I have to. If anything you find in the New Testament, I don't care what it is. If it does not line up with Torah, if it does not line up with any of the laws, statutes and commandments given to the children of Israel by the Most High, reject it outright immediately no questions asked straight up simple as that okay so but anyway uh so that's that but i, I wanted to address this because and i, I want to address this thoroughly okay because again i i had a lesson t you know explaining why our genealogy is of the utmost importance uh to the most high i already had that lesson but this whole spiritual israelite thing is it's like it's catching some legs it's growing some legs so i want to address that and so with that said i want i want to have a segue into that because someone who i'm assuming is a i don't know the 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 i won't even say the username it doesn't matter but someone commented on my channel with the 12 tribe chart that i did okay and essentially i'm going to 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 use that as the basis for the lesson uh today I'm going to read what this person said, and then I'm going to read my response, my thorough response by scripture. Because it's one thing to have an opinion about something, but my thing is come with the word, though. Because if the word doesn't line up with what you're saying, then you're speaking womp, 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 womp to me. No disrespect, right? But anyway, so let's get into it. Let's get right into it. Spiritual Israelite. There's no such thing. Um, now, this person said, uh, quote, um, Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Let's see here. Uh, made a comment on YouTube channel on the genetic breakdown of the 12 tribe chart. Okay. All right. I don't know why people black and white insist on falsely and ignorantly thinking that the Bible is separate from DNA and genetics. It is not. As a matter of fact, they go together like hand in glove. But more on that a lot later. The Most High is responsible for coding, for coding our DNA so that no other nation of people on this earth has it. I don't know why people can't get that. Right. So with that said, let's get into it. 
Um, so this person said, quote, so what then does one do when and if they find out they are not a part of the 12 tribes? Are they to stop honoring the laws? Do they simply throw out all they have learned? I understand wanting to know on a genetic level who you are, but that proves nothing if you do not endure to the end. Why get sidetracked on who's in and who's out when at the end of the day the judgment call is not ours? The laws make you worthy, not your DNA. End quote. So, wow, she said a mouthful, right? Sounds like a um sounds like a New Testament Christian to me. I don't know. But either way, my response was, and this is my response, Israel. The most high tells us that tells these people and all people of the, of the of the planet Earth exactly what they need to do, even if they are not genetic Hebrew Israelites, i.e., from the seed and bloodline of Isaac and Jacob. Exodus twelve forty eight and forty nine says, And when a stranger shall sojourn with thee, and will keep the Passover to the Lord, let all his males be circumcised, and then let him come near and keep it, and he shall be as one that is born in the land. For no uncircumcised person shall eat thereof. One law shall be to him that is homeborn, and unto the stranger that sojourneth among you. Okay? Meaning, non-Israelites, i.e. Gentiles, sojourners, can still be regarded as Israelites. It doesn't say spir spiritual Israelites, or nothing of the sort. If they take up Torah and follow the laws, statutes, and commandments given to the children of Israel, not what's in the New Testament, because if you follow what's in the New Testament, you're going to follow that straight to hell, and that's just straight up. Okay, that tells us that everyone will be under one law if they take up the law, statutes, and commandments of the children of Israel. So those people are sojourners. To be an actual Israelite, you have to possess the Y DNA haplotype of Jacob, period, point blank. And you have to be able to reckon and establish your bloodline as a child of Israel. Okay? And the actual genealogy is of the utmost importance to the Most High. Okay? So you're wrong on that front. It does matter. All right? It doesn't say that, that, that anyone else doesn't have a, a chance at salvation or a shot at being saved, quote unquote. It, but, 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 but the children of Israel and our bloodline does matter to the Most High. First Chronicles 9 and 1 says, so all Israel, that means all, okay? It doesn't matter what, what, what north, south, whatever. All Israel were reckoned by genealogies. And I told you on those on those on a couple lessons ago, don't listen to Titus and Timothy in the New Testament because they they have nothing to do with our bloodline. They have nothing to do with being a ch uh, child of Israel. OK, so they can say what say what they want it has no no bearing, no meaning to me whatsoever. The first Chronicle 91 says, and behold, they were written in the book of the kings of Israel and Judah who were carried away to Babylon for their transgression. Reckon means they had their bloodline, i.e. their genetic lineage established as an Israelite. So again, you are wrong on all fronts. Genetics proves who are descendants of Isaac and Jacob. And to be able to reckon your genealogy, you have to be able to prove and trace your lineage to those two men, bottom line, because that is the children of the promise through Isaac and Jacob. Okay? The Most High says, uh, explicitly, Deuteronomy 7 and 6, For thou art holy people unto the Lord thy God. The Lord thy God hath chosen thee to be a special people unto himself, above all people that are upon the face of the earth. All right? And that doesn't mean that we're, you know, we're better than anyone or, or you know, whatever the case may be, even though people have hated us since the beginning of time, basically. But it does mean that we have to be a beacon of light because Christ Yeshua HaMashiach said salvation is of the Jews. OK, and what, and what I just read a little bit ago, that that's the precept for that. That's where Christ got that from. He didn't just pull that out of his hat. OK, he's speaking directly what came from the most high. Salvation is of the Jews. And he sees he told the truth. OK, the people that the most high is talking about again in Deuteronomy 76 are the children of Israel. 
the nation he chose has to know who they are. And the only way, the absolute only way to establish or reckon our, geneal our genealogy as a seed of Jacob is through our DNA, period, point blank. Okay, it, it says nothing about spiritual Israelite or you know anything along those lines. It, it just it doesn't exist. You won't find that you won't find that anywhere in Torah because it doesn't exist. And if it's not if it's if it doesn't exist in Torah, why are you promoting that? You don't have to make people you don't have to make sojourners feel good about themselves. I mean, you know, the most already gave them a way in. They're sojourners. You know, they don't he doesn't see them if they, if they take up the law, statutes and commandments given to the children of Israel, the most high doesn't see them any differently. So you don't have to make them feel better about calling them a spiritual Israelite. No, they're not a spiritual Israelite. They're a Gentile. They're, they're a sojourner. I'm sorry. They're a sojourner. OK, but if they take up, if they do what the most high said, he will look at them as one of us. And he said that explicitly. So you don't have to make up expressions and make up words to make them feel better about a sojourning with the children of Israel, the real children of Israel. OK, and no race on this planet has the DNA of the children of Israel. I've proven that over and over and over again through my comprehensive E1B1A video, my 12 chart video. I mean, all throughout, I got, I got close to 50 teaching videos over the years and I've went through that ad nauseum no other race on this planet has the DNA of the Negroes period and that was by design and on purpose okay the most high wanted our bloodline DNA separate from everyone and guess what it is okay so our DNA slash uh, genealogy is of the utmost importance to the most high God so much that he took he even took that a step further and he went as far as separating Jacob and Esau's Y DNA haplotype in Rebecca's womb. Ordinarily ordinarily when two brothers are born, especially if they're so called twins, right? They 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 ordinarily have the same Y and D Y DNA haplotype of the father. That's ordinarily. But Jacob and Esau weren't two ordinary kids, and that situation was far from ordinary. You're talking about two men that literally, Jacob was the, 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 the seed of the chosen people of the Most High God. You think for one second the Most High is going to have uh, Esau's uh, Y-DNA the same as ours, his chosen seed? First of all, he wouldn't do that, number one, because there's no continuity there. How would we know? If Esau, if Esau's descendants had our Y DNA, how would we know who they are? How would we be able to identify them? We wouldn't see because the Most High didn't do that for him because clearly he knows who's who, right? But he did that for us, so so we have continuity. That's why the descendants of Esau's Y DNA is different from the descendants of Jacob, and that's how we can tell who's who. Okay, so he said in Genesis twenty-five and twenty-three, and the Lord said unto her, two nations are in thy womb and two manner of people shall be separated and the one people shall be stronger than the other people and the elder shall serve the younger so let's break that down he said the most high said two nations are in thy womb well, what is that what does that mean nation nation equals bloodline okay nationality where you descend from that's your lineage. That's your line. That's your bloodline. That's the nation. Bloodline equals Y DNA haplotype for males. What Y DNA haplotype is what you got from your father and what he got from his father, and it goes on and so on and so forth. That's your that's your bloodline lineage. Your Y DNA haplotype. That's how you trace that. Okay? And in genetics, so because he didn't want the seeds of Esau to have our DNA. Because like I said, again, there's no continuity if he did that, if he allowed that. If the seeds of Esau had our DNA, we're E1B1A. They defaulted to E1B1B. Why? I do not know that part, but I just know that they did, right? So if that doesn't, and he did that in, in Rebecca's womb, no one that no one was outside of the Most High could achieve anything like that. That's just That's just so supernatural right there you know because like i said ordinarily uh two babies born of the same man is going to have the same y and dna, y DNA haplotype but that was no ordinary situation not by a long shot okay so you know given that information if anyone can't see uh just how important our uh the children of israel's dna is to the most high then you know you just don't want to see it 
or you just weren't meant to, you know, because it's a simple concept. All right. And this is exactly why he raised one of us up, you know, in me to bring this DNA genetic teaching forward, because it shuts down all the lies and the false claims of all these different groups all over the world claiming to be Israelites. I mean, think about it. I don't think I don't think I have enough time in this presentation to go through all the different, you know, groups of people who claim to be either, quote unquote, ancient Israelites or descendants of, you know, Abraham, Isaac and Jacob. I mean, the list goes on. I mean, if you go to the to the uh, the promised land, you know, you'll find a whole bunch of skeletons and fossils of of invaders and rapists and people that, that had that, that were not invited to the land of Israel, right? And this is why the, the DNA is so skewed this, to this day because they're, they're, they're unearthing all these fossils and bones of, of, of colonizers, of invaders. So they're not getting an accurate view of the DNA or genetic uh, 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 profile, if you will, of the children of Israel, right? So that's, that's what it is, you know? And, um, and then real quick, um, while, while we're on this subject, uh, this goes into the whole uh, Noah's three sons, you know, Abraham, um, uh, Shem, you know, Japheth and Ham, you know, their job was to repopulate the world. But yet we have from those three men, we have all these different, you know, haplotypes and haplogroups. And from a from a, a generic standpoint, you would think, how in the world did that even happen from three men? You have all these different races. You know, different haplogroups, haplotypes. I mean, that's some phenomenal thinking stuff. But see, that's just it. You know, they had to do something that was very supernatural. Don't think for one second the Most High wasn't in that whole repopulation thing with Shem, Ham, and Japheth. Please don't get it twisted. His his hand was in this whole thing because other, otherwise, there's no way that we we exist. I used to think, you know, way back in the day, I used to think that the the if you guys you know are familiar with the, the Tower of Babel story, I used to think that's how and why we got all the different races and the different languages and stuff like that. I thought that that was the the event in the Bible, as you know, as to how how we got all these different um, you know languages and and different people speaking different tongues and whatnot. Um, but anyway, uh, if you really think about it, you know, um, you had some some extraordinary men tasked with doing some extraordinary things and the most high's hand his handprint is all in it i mean it's all in our dna to this day all right and again this lesson wasn't to uh you know to to, to disrespect anyone or to um uh downgrade anyone or you know discourage anyone at all but i had to let it be known i have to speak the truth to the children of israel and thus said the lord and there's no such thing as a spiritual Israelite, so let's let's please stop that. You brothers out there, this 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 pushing that um, spiritual Israelite thing, please knock it off. Uh, and any, anything that you might even point to that to try to use to justify that in the New Testament, because you sure won't find it in the, in the in the Torah. Um, it's 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 a lie. Okay, so again, we don't need that. The Most High already said that sojourners, uh, non-Israelites or Gentiles, okay, they 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 can be saved. If they take up the law, statutes, and commandments given to the children of Israel. All right? Simple as that. All right, brothers and sisters, uh, that's it. Um, again, that that I'm, I'm working on a couple of things. Uh, the Haplo Group D thing is in the work still, but it's not ready. And now I'll um, bring it forth when it is. All right? So until next time, you all have a, a peaceful Shabbat. This is Dr. Ephraim signing off, saying hi, Yeshua HaMashiach. Shalom.